Hello Leeds fans, you're all doing fantastically well, it's Connor here. Yes, we are back with another rumour mill. We're here to dissect everything that's going on with Leeds United uh, and we're doing it at lunchtime. Very, very novel, very novel indeed, but we're back here, as I've just said, to discuss everything Leeds. I hope you're all doing fantastically well. Leave a like, make sure you comment in and subscribe. And as always, I read every single comment. Um, and yeah, if you want to help the channel as well, head on over to the Patreon. Uh, a link will be in the description below and let's get to it. So first thing off the bat, Willie Nyonto, his, his agent talk has, has been going absolutely viral over the past couple of days. It's Basically, I'm paraphrasing, I'm not going to pull up the direct quotes, but essentially, Willie Nyonso's agent was saying that, you know, a Premier League move would be desirable or is desirable. And as I say, guys, I am paraphrasing. That's not a direct quote, but if you read uh, the quote, if you're picking it apart, that's essentially what's being said there, really. Interesting and and something that I completely expected. This guy's been tearing it up for the Italian under-21s. He's been fantastic for the Italian national team. He's been fantastic for Leeds United as well, and his career seems to to be going on a very much upward trajectory and I don't think Leeds in the championship will be able to keep hold of someone like Willie Nyon. So I was hoping and, and, and I was praying, but I think it's going to be a real challenge for us to keep hold of some of our, our real agile, um, you know, sort of sort of exciting youngsters like him and, and Somerville and maybe even Rutter. I think it is going to be difficult. There's been a lot of interest in Matteo Joseph, I can tell you that for a fact, and Leeds are trying the best to keep hold of him as well. So there are a lot of a, a lot of keen clubs on Leeds's um on, on Leeds's youngsters radar really at the minute. So yeah, one to keep an eye on there. But I do think Willian Yonso will be leaving Leeds United this uh, summer transfer window. Let's hope we can keep hold of Crescencio Somerville, who essentially came out um, earlier on this week, and and his agent, or oh, oh, sorry, he actually said that he, he he loves Leeds United and that 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 Liverpool goal will live live long in his memory. So that's that's nice to hear as well. Victor Orta, not only as as it looks like a deal has been agreed for um for Rodrigo, uh, according to uh, Fijayes.net, uh, but apparently now Victor Orta wants to raid Leeds United for Tyler Adams. I mean, Victor Orta has absolutely landed on his feet getting the severe job. There was rumours when he was at Leeds United of him going to Roma and Fiorentina, and that was absolutely stunning. This is the guy who had the success rate um, of about 7.5 um, misses out of 10. So unbelievable how his reputation is still so high in football. But there you go. He will be looking at some Leeds United players, as we mentioned with Rodrigo, Tyler Adams, maybe there's others in there as well, where he can really get you know, get a really good deal there. He knows every sort of fine print detail in the contract negotiations and you are expecting him to take advantage of that. And Rodrigo is definitely one, but Tyler Adams is another. Where I think it's going to fall down for him and it's going to be quite nice seeing it fall down for him is Tyler Adams, in my opinion, will not be leaving this country. When he first signed for Leeds United, it was all about making it in the Premier League and staying in the Premier League. A lot of American fans do watch uh, the Premier League, as we know, and it's the biggest league in the world for those guys. It's the most coverage they get out there as well, and it's the biggest league in the world in general. There's no way Tyler Adams, after making his his footprint in the Prem, will, and, and have his six months out as well, you know, he didn't have a full calendar season in the Prem, will be wanting to go to La Liga or the Bundesliga. He's going to want to stay in the Premier League and I presume that is what his agent is working towards now. I'd be I'd be really, really shocked if he went abroad. Once again, on the Connor Believer rate, uh, do I think Tyler Adams will be a Leeds United player come the end of the summer? I do not. I think Tyler Adams will move on. But I trust Leeds in that department to get it right because I think with the possession-based system, as I've mentioned prior, um, there, there, there is a lot of scope for some decent players in the championship who can play a very, very similar role to uh, Tyler Adams. Apparently, Leeds United have decided to offer uh, Adam Forshaw a new contract, um, according to a report from Team Talk. So, yeah, obviously, we know that they've been, Joel Robles and Adam Forshaw were invited back to the club for training, preseason training. But apparently, Team Talk have claimed that Leeds have made a, a, a U turn in the Forshaw decision. I mean, I guess time will tell. Um, yeah, he's clearly popular at the club. I, I mean, he's. It's, it's just not really work for him. I mean, I guess he's a bit of a continuum there for, for Leeds, um, a staple of, of, of what was before, I guess, with Ailing and Bamford and, and, and hopefully um, 
a staple of something that was once and, and we thank you, but, but but goodbye sort of thing. I did a keep buy and sell, and I think with Forshaw, it was a difficult one because I do like him technically on the ball, but he's just never fit. He's not reliable, he's not dependable, and he's never there, and it's almost like, an, I guess it's an experience head in the background. A lead's going to give him the Berardi contract where it is a year. You know, we give him a year, and then and then that's going to be that, and I think, I think that is what it's going to be, to be honest with you, so... Yeah, I guess it's all right. I don't really mind it, but let's not let's not go too sentimental with this and offer him a two year rolling contract or anything like this. I think Adam Forshaw's time at Leeds United should be coming to an end, to be honest, if it was my choice and and let's see if we can, you know, move on and actually, you know, galvanize a, a new Adam Forshaw and a new Patrick Bamford and a new Luke Aylin who can bring us into this next semester of football games although I do think it is very important to retain some experience I think Leeds have got to be ruthless in this window as I mentioned last night on the video I don't think we're going to be ruthless because I don't think we're going to have enough time you know it's what 40 odd days till the start of the transfer window Leeds are going to need some of these experienced heads to be able to play in the championship and 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 help these youngsters as well I don't think getting rid of 80% of them is realistic to be honest with you and um, Interesting one here as well to finish on. Apparently, according to the Athletic, Leeds United are interested in Liverpool centre-back Nat Phillips. Uh, Leeds are gearing up for a return back to the Championship, but obviously we've not got a a, um, a manager yet or, or owners that have been approved by the EFL, but apparently trusted reporter Phil Hayes reported in the Athletic that one man on the on Leeds' radar is Nat Phillips. Obviously, he's very far down in the, in the pecking order, but Leeds... Um, are going to be joined in the pecking race by 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 many other clubs and also but he's been at Bournemouth before hasn't he so that's definitely one to keep an eye on but yeah I didn't I didn't expect Nat Phillips to be honest with you very and from what I remember with with Nat Phillips and even when he played for Liverpool he was like almost like he'd had his grandma you know what I mean he's he was very um, aggressive in the air and, and and he's very very set up for championship football I don't think he'd be a bad signing at all obviously I read yesterday and it was a it was a lead slash 49ers fan who who essentially was saying that you never ever know who the 49ers are going to appoint. They're, they're such a closed book, which is interesting. This was a 49ers fan who's actually worked for them in the media department. And he said, I find it funny how Leeds fans, him being a Leeds fan as well, think that they know what the 49ers are doing. They will not have a clue. There could be a third manager. There could be you know a fourth manager who's in the, who's in the conversation and they'd never know that, which is fascinating and, and could open the discussion again you know, to, to whether or not they're looking at Corbran or they're looking at Scott Parker or whoever, maybe a little bit of a left field name. And um, yeah, that's that's going to be very, very interesting to see what happens there in terms of development. And the reason I mention that is because, you know, Nat Phillips, would he be, you know, adept playing possession-based football? I think at the, in, in, on championship level, he would be obviously been, you know, part of that, that Liverpool side. I know he, he wasn't a, a massive feature, but he did feature in, 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 some, in some tough games. So yeah, um, obviously a Bournemouth side who, who were very heavily possession based as well at the time. So let's wait and see what happens, everyone. I'm going to leave it there um, and, and miss, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe as always, everybody. Have a lovely day and I'll see you in a bit.